It is only Veterans Day. Weather acting more like perhaps the Christmas season. We are certainly ahead of schedule here. We're going to talk about all that. Let's start you off with the winter weather advisory that is in effect. It's the entire state of Kentucky at this point. Surrounding areas of Indiana, Ohio, back to Illinois, northern parts of Tennessee. If you're head down 75 to Jellicoe, the high mountains of North Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia, all involved with this. So going to our future track here and your snowfall numbers, this again off the modeling data and you get the impression it's an inch ish. You know, quarter, half inch, either side of that one inch amount is a pretty good amount. You look to southeast Kentucky, some of the high elevations, we could end up with a little bit more. Inch and a half, maybe two when you get into Harlan and Letcher County, maybe the, some of the ridge tops in southeast Kentucky. But for most of us, it's an inch or less. Mainly on the grass, the road temperature can be awfully warm here for a while. But some bridges could get icy later on tonight. The air can pass underneath the bridge surface and so you can chill it from below as well as above and that's how you can get the ice faster than on a surface road. It's about a four to six hour burst of stuff falling out of the sky. So there's your setup. So when we talk about temperatures of the road, that's the key part. We're not talking bridges. This would be the actual road temperatures and this is using some new computer modeling that we have available. So we get you to seven o'clock. Our road temperatures are still in the 50s to around 60. It's been a really warm day. By the time where it's about four or five in the morning, now our road temperatures are dropping below freezing and that may be the critical time that we have to watch out for as we get you into the culmination of this. So tonight, do not buy bread and milk unless you need it. You don't, not going to get snowed in with this. This is a nuisance. With that said, don't be treating it lightly either. Don't be out driving when it's snowing and driving 50 miles an hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. Don't do that anyway. But just slow down. Take it easy. Increase your following distance when it's snowing out there. Also, with the cold coming, bring your pets in. Tomorrow will be one of our coldest early season air masses we have ever recorded. This is some pretty amazing stuff. And the early winter temperatures, they stayed. Now the snow is a kind of a one and done here. But the rain is now falling in downtown Lexington from the Lexington Financial Center. Max Track Live Doppler shows I-75 and west for the rain with the snow still up there in Indiana and Ohio. It's there and it's coming. So here we go. The cold front has been marching across the area during the day today, although temperatures behind the front stayed awfully warm for us during the day. But now the stuff is beginning to fall. There is your changeover, and that's a, a pretty extensive line of snow. So our future track from 8 o'clock shows the transition beginning for a good chunk of central Kentucky by 10 o'clock. Most of us should be in snow, although southeast likely still in the form of rain. We continue then in the hours after midnight. We'll see the snow wind down in central Kentucky, last into the pre-dawn hours in the far southeast, and then this big, sprawling, well-advertised Arctic high comes in. We're still at 61 degrees. That is amazing considering what is on the way. It's been a windy day. The cold at I-71, where LaGrange, Carrollton, Alexandria, all in the mid-30s at this point. Meanwhile, look at all the 60s. So that cold air is really beginning to pour in. We're talking about temperatures as we look to the future through the morning hours tomorrow. Gang, that is really, really painfully cold and watch the wind chills going down tonight. We're talking wind chills that most of the night into the day tomorrow. Those will be in the teens and single digits for tonight. The snow advisory rain arrives, changes to snow, a trace to two broad numbers. Most of us will be an inch or less temperatures in the mid 20s, upper 20s tomorrow. A few lingering snow showers in the east. Wanted to emphasize the record low high because that's what we've got a shot at. 28 from 1932. That would be the coldest temperature so early in the season, a tie. That is amazing stuff. And there's the chill for the rest of the week. We're staying in the 40s. Teens this early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that 13 is also a record. So, yeah. Ah, I just don't know what to say. It's almost painful. It's, yeah. Records we much. don't care to break. No. Not yet.